Hello and welcome to the Picture Instruments Toolbox, the toolbox which makes it easier for you to handle special tasks in Photoshop. For example, our Ilford Black and White developer. Here you find different presets, different grain settings, natural color filters from the analog photography, and paper structures to simulate a professional Ilford print. So by easily choosing one of our presets, you get a perfectly conversion to black and white. After you once set your preset, of course, you can change between them. After choosing the right one for the first look, you can add one of our color filters. An orange filter, for example, will highlight the red to yellowish part of the image and darken up the blues. Because we do not have any blues in this image, and I would prefer a darkener look for the hair and her top, I would shoot the blue filter, which darkens up the red tones in the image. And this way we get a little bit more contrast on her skin and on the top. This now we can get a combination with the green. On a 50 ISO, we got no green in the image at all. If we add 125, 400, or even go up to 1600, you see how the natural grain from an analog film will transfer to our image. I would personally set here to ISO 400. After we did this, we zoom out of the image again, we can add a paper structure. If a paper structure is too heavy for your image, you find it on the right hand side in the layers. So here you can choose over the opacity the effect. This layer will affect the image. So we can take a little bit off the paper structure to get our conversion of a black and white image. With the tonal values here, our outer levels, it's like pushing and pulling in the analog films, we can optimize a little bit our image. And this way we got a perfectly black and white conversion. Here's the color before and the black and white after. 